afternoon, everyone, and thanks for staying with us. I'm Ginger Gadsden. I'm Julie Broughton. And I'm Lisa Bell. First, though, at 4.30, a young girl almost kidnapped in Avalon Park. How her dad says she is afraid to be alone, even in her own house. Orange County deputies say the girl and her friend were riding their bikes near the Publix on Avalon Park Boulevard when she was grabbed. News 6 reporter Nadine Yanis joins us now live from Avalon Park. And Nadine, these girls were doing what a lot of kids do on a Saturday afternoon, just riding their bikes around their neighborhood. That's right, Lisa. They were just coming back from the drugstore where they bought candy. They were driving, riding their bikes past this dog park when a man grabbed one of the girl's shoulder and didn't let go. Her friend grabbed her other shoulder. They were finally able to break free. That was until the man caught up with them again. I got a text from my wife saying that she almost got abducted. Though he didn't want to show his face, you can hear this dad's voice crack when he says aloud his daughter was almost kidnapped Saturday afternoon. As I keep on thinking more and more about it, it's, it's, it becomes more and more real. He says it happened between 5 o'clock and 516 near the dog park on Avalon Park Boulevard. He knows the exact time because he says his wife was tracking his 11 year old daughter's every move. That's because this was the first time they've ever let her go by herself. And what happened on Saturday is exactly why. A gentleman approached my daughter, put his hand on her shoulder, and her friend said to run, men, run. They got back on their bikes, they went to go take off, and the guy held on to her shirt. And luckily she was able to get away. He says the girls began to pedal so fast to get away that one of them got a cramp. They stopped, and that's when they spotted the man coming towards them again. But they lost him and made it home. Now, this dad says his daughter doesn't even want to be alone. It, it doesn't really affect her until, like, she has to, you know, go take a shower by herself. Believing that she will stay shaken up until the attempted kidnapper is caught. I'm glad she and her friend used their heads and, and were able to get out of the situation that they were in. So you can see that there are two Orange County deputy cars here. Uh, the dad told us that detectives will actually be at their house tomorrow to get a composite sketch to get results and get this guy caught. Until then, there's another father in the neighborhood who want to get results and get kids here safe while they're out and about. I'm going to tell you what he plans on doing in my story tonight at 530. Lisa, back to you.